Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Google Sheets using filters. So if you watched our video on Google Sheets, um, I am not the biggest spreadsheet person. <laughs> Luckily, I have my sister to help me out. So today we're covering a feature which I'm sure is really great, filters. It's a great feature. Um, a filter allows you to look at your data um, in, as a subset. So maybe you have a whole bunch of information about um, the students in your classroom, for example, uh -huh. and you want to take a look at it in a certain way. Maybe you want to see only the students who did uh, under a certain amount on a sure. test, or you want to sort them a different way. So we're going to take a look at how to make more sense right. of your data. So you data. don't see everything at once, right. and you can just see what you want to focus on. That's right. Great. Well, let's Wait, get started. Ways to analyze. So let's take a look. So <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is we are... Um, we are uh, going to go to Google Drive. Right. We're going to go to Drive. Or that's you where could go to the Sheets homepage. You could page, go right to the Sheets homepage. We page. like Drive, We right? like Drive. We have all of our stuff in here, and we're going to go into our YouTube video outlines, go into our Sheets Advanced mm -hmm. folder, and we're going to find our classroom data file. Okay. This so is... I know today we're <clears> using <throat> an example of uh, test scores for teachers. Right. Um, but you could use it for so many different things, like sales you data could. or any kind of data That's you right. have, right? That's right. And, and the data may be coming from something that you've entered, or it may be coming from your school's grading system. You may be downloading a spreadsheet that has a whole bunch of information about your students, and you want to filter it the way you need to see it at mm -hmm. different times. Or sales data, or whatever right. it is that you're yep. looking at. Yep. It'll apply to anything that you look at. So the first thing we want to look at is the way our data is set up. Um, <clears throat> we have our columns across here um, yep. with our information. We have student name, period, homework one, two, three, and four, and then test one, two, three, and four. We have an average of tests here, mm -hmm. days absent, and days tardy. So let's see, first of all, we have um, different periods here. And right now we have them sorted by um, period, but not alphabetically. So right. let's let's take a look at the, so the, the most simple form of filtering, right. which isn't really, really filtering. Really isn't a filter. No. A filter will just show you this certain, certain data. data. Right. To sort. You're gonna you know sort all your data, right? You can't That's just right. sort a little bit of data. That's right. So the first thing you want to do is you also want to realize is that um, filtering or and or sorting goes by column. So you want to be on the row okay. of your headers to do this. You don't want to be on the title of your um, spreadsheet or any right. info up here. You want to be on the, the row that has the title of your And then you your want columns. your column that you want sorted, selected. Right? right. Well, this is just to turn it on. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn filters on. And we have two ways of doing that, Karen. We can go to the data menu, and we can turn the filter on here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can also go over here to the toolbar to the filter icon, and it looks like a funnel, which makes sense, right? Yep. So filtering. I'm going to turn it on, and the first thing that you're going to notice is that it turned the spreadsheet blue. Um, it selected the area from where I was down to its first blank line. So it knows that this is what we want. If we had included, uh, if we didn't have this row here, this blank line right. here, it would have included class average too, which really isn't. What we no, want to do. We don't that's want to not sort a student that. your class, right? No, we don't <laughs> want to sort that. It's not a student. That would be a bad name. That's right. So <laughs> we're going to come up here and we're going to also notice that it also put these little drop down menus on each of the column headers. Okay. okay. So we're going to come up sort here. Sort of means there, oh, you can do something here, right? Right, right, exactly. It's a drop down. So we click on it and it brings up um, the information. Now, the first two things are sorting. So I can sort A to Z. So yeah. you notice now that everybody is sorted A to Z. Right. Well, that kind of screwed up my periods now. Yeah, it is. But I can do a secondary sort by Ooh. clicking on that column header and also sorting A to Z. So oh, now wow. I have all my students sorted within each period. Oh, I love it. This is probably this the is way... Super, you know you, what? This isn't hard. No! And this it's isn't handy. Hard. It is handy, yes. So this is a nice thing that you might want to look at that way. Um, the next thing that we can do is we can filter by a condition, and that's going to really do some filtering now and right. hiding rows of data that you don't right. want to see. So let's say we only want to look at second period. Okay. I'm going to click on the period column on the little drop down, mm -hmm. and I'm going to come down, and I can filter. Um, the first thing we're going to look at is filtering by a value, okay? It's going to show all the values that show up in this column. Now, okay. in this case, there's just two. First and second. But I'm going, to, I'm going to show you, just to look here under the student one, you'll see that depending on what's in 
the data okay. that's it's going to show you every single data that's in there. Okay. Um, if there were three alleys, it you would only say alley by once. Alleys. You could find all the alleys <laughs> in your class. I was careful to only have one student right. name in my class, but I'm going to go to period and I'm going to say nope. I don't want first. I want just second period. Yep. Okay. And I or I could search for a certain value if it wasn't you know so short like this. I can select all. I can clear. I'm going to say okay, and now I'm only getting second period. Awesome. I love okay. it. And all the other first periods or non-second periods, I should say, went away. That's right. But they didn't but they're really, still there, right? They didn't really go <laughs> away. And you'll notice that our rows here are, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, because it's just hiding those other rows. They oh, didn't disappear. Right. It's, oh, that's nice. Yeah. And our, you know, all our formulas are still by the okay. whole spreadsheet. But now let's say that we want to see, well, let's find out all those students in second period who are not doing so well. Okay. So I'm going to go over to the average of all tests. Yep. And I'm going to go to the drop down. I'm going to say, okay, now I want, oops, now I want to filter. Come on, come on up. Now I want to filter by a condition. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to click on that and it's going to come up and the free, it's just going to say there's no condition, but I can come in here and I have all these different conditions I can do, which is great. I can find cells that are empty or not empty, contain text, don't. Um, wow. Date is, date before, date on, date after. I'm going to go to a less than. I want mm -hmm. kids who are less than or equal to a certain test formula. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to click on that, and then I put my value in here. So I want everybody who is less than 75% on all their tests. And I'm going to click OK, and now you can see that I only have oh. these five students. Right. And so they might need your extra attention. They might need more yep. attention. And I can further look at it and I can say, well, look at that. These are Ooh. also the kids who are mostly absent except for this one. Right. So it's a way that you can look at your, <clears throat> data. your data. Really That's well. That's right. And this would be great for sales. Like, oh, right. Know. You could look at different regions right. or different states or different salespeople. There's all kinds mm -hmm. of ways you can look at the data. Awesome. Now, also notice that um, the fields that we have filtered, the little filter icon, the drop down has turned into a little funnel, yep. the filter icon, and it's green. So we know that we have a filter on those. So let's say that I now say, well, let's check out how both those classes are doing. I'm going to keep this on, so I'm going to get everybody under 75%. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to say, no, nope, I want everybody now. Yep. So I want both first and second period. And these are now, I'm not sorting by period. That Just green went there. away. I'm yep. only filtering by the average test being under 75. So now I can see that right. actually my first period class is doing worse than my second period right. class. I don't know. Now Maybe that might tired. make sense. Maybe they're <laughs> tired. Maybe I need to make sure they're eating breakfast. I right. don't know. So um, okay, that's how we do that. Now, the next thing I want to do is, you know, I've done quite a bit of sorting and filtering here, and I don't want to redo this every time I want to come in. Right. Okay, well, wait, back up one second. First of all, I am now affecting this spreadsheet for everyone who has viewing privileges right. or editing privileges. Because as we it. know with any Google app, you can share documents. So this and document collaborate, right? might be shared with a lot of different people. Right. So if my assistant or other people are looking at this or whoever, whatever your situation is, um, what you're doing right now, if I was, if someone else is looking at the spreadsheet at the same time, it's filtering for them too. Okay. So we don't necessarily want that to happen all the time. So another good reason to use um, the ability to save these views um, or filter views. So we've got our filter set up. So we're going to go in here and we're going to come up to... Well, this the, would be a way that you can view it a certain way without... Right. Out, oh, right. Without affecting other, other people. people. That's right. look at that view. Because right. filter views are by user only. Okay. So if, so you, if you filter view something, it's not going to affect what right. other people so are seeing. So now we're going to show you how to create a filter view. Right. So we basically create your, your filters. You get everything yeah. sorted and filtered the way you want it. And then you can come up to the toolbar or you can go to the data menu and you're going to go to filter views mm -hmm. and you can create a new filter view awesome. or you can save this as a filter view, which is yeah. what we want to do. Yeah, we do. Okay. And then it'll show you the filter views you already have down okay. here. Awesome. I already have one for period one, period oh, okay. two, and kids who got over 80% on the homework, but under 80 on the test. Okay. So let's save this as a filter view and it comes up a little bit different. It, 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 it turns the toolbar yep. uh, and the row headers gray and um, comes up with a range. Uh -huh. It shows me what range it's using. And here's the filter name. And I can name this um, 
test scores under 75. Yep. Oops. Plus five? 75. There <laughs> 75 we go. 75 plus five? Yep. And that's really about it. That's what okay. you can do. And then you can come over here and you can uh, rename it, which basically just takes you yeah. back into this field. You can update the range if you want to, if you need change to something. change yep. the range. Duplicate it, delete Leave. it. Or you can learn great more. Help center, right? yep, a great help I center. I think um, most of the Google apps have really great help they centers. They do. They have really good help centers. And if I want to turn this view off, I just hit the X. And you'll notice that it turns off. So when, now when we turn one of those views on, only we, we will only be seeing it, right? You. Now, the right user. now, I have the filters on. So let's turn the filters off. To turn the filters off, you just come up to your toolbar and click the funnel icon. Or you go to the data menu and you turn off the filter. Right. So now I'm not filtered at all, but now let's say I want to turn on a filter view. Okay. So I'm going to go up to, I'm going to use the toolbar, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to say, I want to see um, that one. This one. There it okay. is. These are my trouble. Ben and Brad. <laughs> ben and Brad. They uh, do They're good on their homework, but terrible on their tests. Oh, so they might need some help with testing. Right. Well, actually. See how just yeah. analyzing it tells you so much. That's right. And it would, you know, not just for in this instance, That's right. teachers, but. Any, any area. Right. You might have a salesperson that's right. doing really well and you don't even know it or doing really poorly and you don't right. know it. So right. um, those are all things to look at. Now, you can also share these. Um, the other reason to use filter views is to share with people a certain view of your data. Okay. So if I want you to only see second period, right. I can turn on the second period filter view, which I will go here to period two. This is just... Period two. Oh, I must have saved this differently. Well, whatever this view is, you turn right. your view on. And then the way that you need to do it is you need to copy the URL. So you have to come up into the... Oh, so you um, can't hit the share button. You can't hit the share button. It doesn't share it in the filtered view, but this will. Okay. So you can copy and paste, come up to the um, URL select bar, it all, select copy. it all, copy it, paste it into an email or a text right. and send it to somebody. And then it'll automatically apply that filter view. Right, if you just need to share a certain pr parameters of your data with someone who doesn't have access to the document. Exactly. It's also good for collaborators who are view only because they can't apply filters to data because oh, okay. they're just view only, they're, but they can right. do filter views They can oh, okay. and temporary filter views. So they can still play around with the awesome. data themselves. Well, and I think this has think been great, it. understanding how to really analyze and use your data to really narrow it down and figure things out. That's right. So thanks for learning with Sync Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.